Yeah. Thank you. Um, I'll stop. Wow, that was um, a little too close for comfort at the end, but we won, and I'm really proud of the girls. I really am. And uh, that's a good, v really good VCO team. We played. Um, they're, 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 they have a lot of talented players. And that number one is a heck of a player, Robinson. Um, we couldn't stop her. I thought Maya Bembry and Andre did as well a job as you can do. Um, that last play of the game, with Amari Wright, which has really come along a, a ton when she's finally gotten healthy, and she made a great defensive play at the end of the game against number one. She wouldn't let the girl shoot, straight up, no foul, and I'm really proud of her. And uh, like they said, survive in advance, so I'm really, really happy. Um, and, and I just want to thank our fans. They were amazing, from um, our softball team to um, all our great fans that were there. That was really loud. As you can tell, I have no voice. And uh, we need everyone Thursday night. Thursday night at 7, Sweet 16 game against De uh, Drexel. They're 28 and 5. So we have our work cut out for us. But we're excited, and um, what a great crowd. I'm really, really proud of the girls. Wow, I mean, I lose track of her points and everything. I'm just so blessed to, that she's on the floor and she helps maintain control. And uh, this was a physical team she played. She got grabbed and held and pushed a lot. And it was just, you know, one of those games. It's called a playoff game. And, uh, you know, she was up to the challenge, as always. We have a great point guard. We do. And we have a really unselfish basketball team. Um, I thought they found Maya Jackson really good tonight. Uh, Maya Memory, you know, didn't shoot the ball today, but rebounded and passed the ball. And even if she doesn't get an assist, she passed to someone who then passed it to somebody else. I just think we're playing very unselfish. We're playing to win. And I think that's really important. Um, we won 13 games out of our last 15, so it's not easy. You know, Ben, she's one of the most selfless players I've ever coached. She just wants to win. You know, I was so pleased when she hit the game-winning shot against Creighton. You know, and she's not like, oh, I hit the game-winning shot, I'm going to come shoot it all the time. She, that's not what she does. She really is a winner. If she's going to get the shot, she'll take it. Tonight they guarded her, I thought, really well. So she made other hustle plays, like you pointed out. And she guarded a guard tonight. A lot of times she guards a forward. And she's just a selfless, team-oriented winner. You know, they're just a really good team. Let, let, let's not forget, like, when you get to this level of playoffs and stuff, you're going to play really good teams. And they're really good, and they weren't going to go away or pack it in. Um, they're, they're, you know, they're going to try and really never give up, and, and they didn't. And I was afraid of that quest. I really was. And we went over it a little bit and shoot around, and I probably should have gone over it a little mo bit more. Thanks, Matt. But we've got to maintain our composure a little bit better. Got to make a couple free throws more at the end. Keep the floor spread. We got to lay up for Sydney. But again, we didn't keep the ball spread. I think we played a little uh, tentatively there. But we had enough points and had the right stop at the end of the game to win. You know, I, I thought they had two big kids that really gave Sydney all, all she can handle. I thought she made a great post move at the end of the game, hit a big three at 1.2. Um, but, you know, she wasn't feeling good. She wasn't her 100% today, and uh, she still found a way to score 19 points and play seven rebounds and play 30 minutes. So I give her a lot of credit. I thought she really got hit a lot today, and um, she just kept fighting through and fighting through. It was a physical game on both ends. It wasn't a – criticism. I'm just saying she found a way to fight through and I think early in the year she wouldn't have and she did. I, I know Ben they're 28 and 5 and Drexel's really good and they play a very similar style to Villanova and Princeton. You know, they're very well coached. Um, they have you know very talented players. Um, I think they finished first in the CAA um, 
and then they lost in the finals by four points to Delaware. So like I think we are, they are an NCAA team as well. So it's going to be a great battle. But when you get to the Sweet 16, you're going to play someone good. You know, we're not going to have some team coming in here that's not good. So uh, we're blessed to host. We're blessed to be the better seed, higher seed. And, um, and we, we need to take advantage of it. We need all the fans here. Like uh, in the back, our softball player, Sydney. We, we need everybody. And, and we need all our players. And I think that will really, all our fans, that will really help us a lot. I, I really believe it. I, I know it got us over the hump today. Yeah, we were going to switch everything on the last play and make sure we pushed them three feet off that line. If they went for two, we were just going to let them have it, call our last time out, advance the ball, and basically get it in. But they did a great job, and I knew they were going to go to Robinson, who I thought was zero, um, you know, uh, table at Biasso. So they went to Robinson. I saw her hit a, a great shot a couple of games ago to tie it. So Amari switched out, and Amari's defense was amazing. And the girls really listened in that timeout to switch everything and play push out, and they did. I'd like to say one more thing. You know, um, you know my, my, my friend today got the Maryland men's basketball job, and I call him my friend because he is my friend. Because for three years at Iona and for all my nine years here at Seton Hall, he's always been there for me. And I'm so happy for him. I'm sad for the sad community. I'm happy for his wife, Julie, and his two boys. Because Coach Willard is a selfless man as well. He cares about his kids, his players, his staff, and everyone else involved in Seton Hall. I can't tell you how many times, whether he's in a three-game winning streak, a three-game losing streak, whatever he is, I had to go ask him a question. I needed help, and he was always there for me. And he does so many things that people don't know about. He's not on Twitter bragging about what he does. He's not on Instagram bragging about what he is. What he is has been a great representation for Seton Hall. And I love the man. And I'm happy for him. I'm sad for our community. And I wish him all the luck in the world, not just for me, but for my staff, my family, my wife, and my two kids. Um, and I just want everyone out there to know he's a, we're losing a tremendous coach, but a tremendous man as well. And I'm just happy for him. And that's what I want to say. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks.